What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. And today we're working with Blueberry Bliss, the pull line. So today we use the leave-in conditioner, the oil, the scalp treatment, the twist and shout cream, and I didn't show it, but we also use the Blueberry Bliss control paste. So going right in order, I'm going to talk about each one and tell y'all what I think. So what I did here, I just put the oil through my hair. Now this oil is a very tingly, it's a scalp treatment, okay? So you're going to get a very tingling, cooling sensation. And I believe this oil retails for $12.99 at Target. But this is a great oil, especially for your scalp. Um, I use this daily and I don't have any problems. I My scalp is not itchy anymore. And, you know, this is an overall great oil. And you're supposed to apply it daily. And that's what you see me doing here. I do apply this daily. If I change my routine... Like, I, I do change my products, but one product I don't change is the Blueberry Bay Scalp Treatment. I still apply that daily, even when I'm doing, even when I'm using a different product. So, or a different line on my hair. So, moving right along to the leave-in conditioner. I use the Blueberry Bay Leave-In Conditioner. And overall, you never know how your hair is going to react to something until it dries and until you take it out. So... The leave-in conditioner felt really, really good. Um, one thing is the smell. It just smells like a drink to me. The whole line just smells like an alcoholic beverage. <laughs> like, you know, it, it does. It smells like blueberries, but it smells like an alcoholic beverage to me. So that's just, to me, what it smells like. But, um... The repetitive leave-in conditioner repairs, restores, and protects and conditions your overworked tresses. And the directions say apply apply to wet or dry hair whenever moisture and conditioning is needed. Great prepping product to apply before styling, twisting, braiding, or creating updos. And the ingredients say purified water breath trillium jesus i cannot spell any of this yeah these ingredients aren't organic but i'm not really tripping about that because most ingredients in my hair products aren't organic but my hair is still growing and flourishing so i'm not really um big one you know oh my god everything has to be organic you know but some girls are so if you are this line really ain't for you anyways moving right along to the twist and shout cream now my favorite thing in this line i will say is the scalp treatment just because you can tell it's working now the scalp treatment you know as i said before it's a very cooling sensation so you know you're gonna be able to feel that as soon as you put it on now, moving on to the twist and shout cream. This has some hold. I really feel like I didn't need to use the leave-in. I could have just went straight on to the twist and shout cream. But, you know, I wanted to use the whole line. Um, but, yeah, the twist and shout cream is really, really thick. And it's moisturizing within itself. So, if you want to get the leave-in, you can. But it's not necessary, you know. Unless you just want to. So, yeah. And... So right here, I am just twisting my hair. I'm doing a twist out. You know, the twist outs are my go-to styles, especially in the wintertime. It's the best style that keeps moisture for my hair. You know, um, wash and goes don't really work for me. Braid outs, they take too long. I get irritated. And <laughs> anything else, I just get irritated. So twist outs. I'm going to go to, I'm speeding this up because, you know, y'all should know how to do a twist out by now. I have several videos on it if you don't know how to do a twist out. But I have a lot of videos on my channel, so just go click one and 
yeah but as i said these products are really creamy they're smooth they work good but you don't know how a product is going to react to your hair until it dries so i'm just going to stop talking let y'all enjoy the twisting process and i'll come back when my hair is dry So moving right along, I am taking down my twist. I'm taking my ring off because I don't want any snags. And I'm sectioning my hair so I don't miss a twist. Usually I always wind up missing one anyway. But I don't have a method to taking down my twist. Y'all know that already. Um, as you can see, this definition though is great. I'm loving the definition. I love how my hair feels. And there's still that moisture left in my hair, which is what you always want during the winter months, especially if you are a four, if you, especially if you have type four thick natural hair, you always want the moisture. So this is me just taking my hair down. Now the shrinkage is real. You just have to learn to embrace your shrinkage. That's just always going to be something that's going to be there. But overall, I love this line. I will be picking up everything once I run out. And the smell is amazing. The line is amazing. Everything just works really, really good. Especially, I'm going to keep saying this. <laughs> the scalp treatment is my favorite product. I use it day Lee on the daily and it just feels good on your hair it's refreshing it, you get that tingling sensation and i love that like you can just tell it's working and you know my scalp hasn't itched for since i all all since i've been using it if so if you have a dry itchy scalp especially if you using protective styles like when i protective style my hair i don't know what it is but i always have an itchy scalp when i protective style no matter what kind of hair i'm using my hair just itches but since I've been using this, my scalp has not been itching. So I highly recommend it. So as you can see, my twist out is bomb. And let's talk about this Blueberry Bliss control paste. Control paste. Am I going to show it to you right now? Or I'm going to put the hairpins in first. Okay, hold on. I'm going too fast, moving too fast. And I wanted, you know, like a slanted little hairstyle thing. So this is the paste I'm talking about. Now, uh, I was disappointed with the paste. Not gonna lie, this was my least favorite product throughout the whole line. Um, it didn't hold my edges. And yeah, like it held throughout this video. But once I cut the camera off, my edges did not look how I applied it. So if you do get this product, and also I didn't lay them down with the scarf, I just, you know, did them. So I recommend if you if you do get this product, you have to pair it with the gel and lay your edges down with the scarf, tie your edges down with the scarf. So um, you can get this, but I do recommend 
using a gel if you want your edges to stay okay and this is the finished product all right do a little picking and fluffing and there you have it thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe all of that as you can see i'm feeling myself all right and i will see y'all in my next video bye